What's up everybody, this is Ryan here, and you are watching my Jetpack Notes MVVM Android Kotlin tutorial. So in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate the application that we'll be building throughout this tutorial series, or building in increments. And then we'll also have a look at uh, basically a huge list of topics that we'll be covering so that you know what to expect in this tutorial series. So before we get to those finer details, let's do a quick demo of the application. Jetpack Notes has three features, or primary user interface screens. Uh, we're looking at the note list feature currently, and as you can see, we don't have any notes, so it's kind of in an idle state. So note list display displays all of the notes which are currently stored either in the local room database or the remote Firestore database. And the decision of where to save or retrieve notes is based on whether the user is logged in or not. And that's actually a concern which is handled in the back end of the application. So uh, from this screen, we can also create a new note. So I'm just going to hit the plus button. And we'll just create new, oops, I can't type, new note, like so. And then I'll hit the check mark button. This is also where you can delete notes. And as you can see, we have the new note here. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the key ic icon, which will open the login feature. And as you can see, we are currently signed in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign out. Okay. And then I'm going to head back to the note list feature by hitting the back button. And as you can see, we have a totally different note currently present, FERP, because that is uh, what's coming from the local uh, room database. So I'm just going to hit that, hit the delete button, and as you can see that's cleared that out, and then we'll just log back in again. Sometimes it takes a moment, there we go. There we are, and boom, new note. So that's a quick demo of the application, and this is what we will be building in this tutorial. So, in order to follow along with the tutorial, you're going to need to visit the repository, link down in the description box below, and you'll need to either clone or download the code so that you can follow along properly. What I'll do is, in each lesson, I'll sort of go through with you. I'll give you specific instructions on how to create a starting point so we're all on the same page, and then we'll carry on from there. This tutorial will cover both front-end, middle, and back-end topics for Android development. For front-end, we'll look at constraint layout, simple Android animations using animation lists, using vector graphics, which will basically allow you to have cool graphics and animations which will scale with whatever uh, resolution or screen size you're working with. I'll show you how to build a recycler view, which happens to be the first thing I ever taught people to do on YouTube. Uh, and then we will look at implementing the navigation library from Jetpack. Uh, view models from Android Architecture Components, Fragments, and I'll do in the next video a big talk about model view, view model, front-end architecture pattern. For back-end topics, I'll teach you about using Firebase Auth and Google Sign-In Provider for quick and easy user management. We'll look at using Room and Firestore for local and remote data storage, respectively. I'll teach you how to hide these things behind a repository so that the front end doesn't know or care where the notes come from. And we'll also learn about simple dependency injection using Android view model and uh, view model providers to get everything nice and wired together. And uh, finally, we'll talk about how to wire the end-to-end -end application together using Kotlin coroutines. And let me tell you, I think you're really going to enjoy that part. Now, for those of you who haven't yet made the transition to using Kotlin for Android or multi-platform development, I recently put together a course which will teach you not only the basics of the Kotlin language, but how to apply some of the more advanced features in practical examples. And it covers what I believe to be the most important topics in software architecture in basically any object-oriented programming language. Now, since this course is in Kotlin, you're going to need to have a basic understanding of the language in order to proceed with it. So, with that in mind, I'm going to end this video with a short and hopefully somewhat entertaining promotional video for that course, and you can find a link to the description box below if it does interest you. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll jump to the promo. 
you know, many people who are making these courses basically just go to documentation website, copy paste, take your money and then call it a day. It is as Habib says, number one bullshit. Don't worry though, your cousin Ryan would not do that to you. If you want to learn Kotlin from somebody who actually regularly build Kotlin application, then I do not think you will be disappointed with this course. Now, there is something in this course for everybody. For beginners, I will show you how to build basic application, how to use classes, functions, properties, that kind of thing, just to give you good solid foundation and basics of the language. For advanced developer, I will teach you most important concepts in Kotlin for building new application front-end to back-end properly. You will learn how to use sealed classes, extensions, function types, lambdas, and a clear understanding of what I consider to be most important concepts in software architecture. So what are you waiting for? You get to learn Kotlin, I maybe get to go buy some furniture, is win-win situation. Come on, buy the course.